Last episode, we started building a zoo, and I want to add more animals to it. I'd also like to work on some of the little in-between and decorative areas of the zoo. This area is basically done with the cafe and the ticket office. But then over this side, I want to get a mat board and maybe some seating going. And then through here, we made our first animal enclosure, which is ocelots. Oh, look, there they are. So cute. But we still need to fill in this enclosure, and a lot of you wanted pandas. Which, can't blame you, they're adorable. So maybe this can be the jungle area of the zoo. And then, if we come up here, I've laid out this for a building. I'm thinking a greenhouse that looks like a mangrove swamp and has frogs in it. Oh, and last thing, I added some really basic decorations in here. So, up here we've got the ticket office for the zoo. And we've got a couple of tickets on the counter. And it overlooks the indoor part of the cafe, which we can get to by going downstairs. Here's the counter in the kitchen, and here's the seating. And then obviously we've got the outdoor bit too. Okay, I think we're all caught up now. I'm gonna start today by changing some of this path out and making kind of a courtyard. And then I think we'll add a garden bed or a fountain in the middle. Okay, this area looks so much better now. I love it. Now to complete the entry area, we need our map of the zoo. Obviously the zoo isn't done yet, but we can make a start on the map. Oh, I haven't done this in a while. How does one make a map? Uh, paper and a compass. We'll gather some more sugar cane too, because we'll want more paper. And then the other thing we'll need for the whole thing is item frames. So, hello cows. Nine leather, I think that'll do. So now if we go to the zoo entrance and make a map... Wait, what did that do? Oh, there we go. Ooh, that looks cool. But it doesn't capture all of this enclosure. So if we go, yeah, that should do it. Okay, so I ended up making a few more and I've laid them out on the ground just to see what they look like. So we're here and the zoo is gonna end up going all around here. But even with that, we still had a lot of space. So I decided to map out Blossom Valley too. I'm gonna take this down and then make a better one. This one connects here, and that one there, and this one. Ah, uh -huh, now I feel like it's too close to the path. No! Okay, one moment. Ta-da! Let's move back like two or three blocks. And it looks way better. I think the entrance is done now. So now we move on to something very important. Pandas. Let's prepare their enclosure. I want it to look like a bamboo jungle. Actually, let's do some research. We can check what they look like over here. We got one right here. Okay, well, there's a lot of bamboo, so we can get some of that. And there's a lot of melons, so we can get some of these. Then we've got these little ferns, as well as just grass. Where's more of the ferns? I want more of them. There's one. We'll get some vines. And we've got these funny little oak trees. I'm gonna just pick up one. Oh wait, they're not oak, they're jungle. Wait, that's so weird. Jungle log with oak leaves. What do you know? Okay, and the last thing the bamboo jungles have is a lot of podzel, but I don't have a silk touch shovel, so it's kind of hard to get it in large quantities, but I have an idea. Okay, I don't know if this is very efficient, but whatever. Whoa, that actually was very efficient. It's a lot of podzel. And then I think maybe we'll grow one more big tree, and then we'll chop them down. Whoa, perfect. Okay, we have a bamboo jungle enclosure. We just need to label it and then we can go get the pandas. There, and they do spawn more in bamboo jungles than in normal jungles, so that's where we're gonna go to find them. I already know there's none over there though, but we might have some luck if we head down the river. There's some bamboo just over there. Hello? Any pandas? Ah, it's so dense. All I see is green everywhere. Anybody? Whoa, it's a frog. This bamboo goes on for ages. Oh, wait, look at that. Oh, there's two, I can see them both. Hello, what kind are you? Oh, you're normal. Oh, you're so cute. What's that? I see another one. Oh, 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 oh. Come here, friend. Friend, friend, friend. How am I gonna get all these home? Oh, it's so cute. It's got the runny nose. Can you go on a boat? 
In the boat. In the boat. In the boat. Yes! But can I go in the boat? Oh, I can. Oh, look at us! Okay, this is going to make it really easy. We can get them home no problem. We did it! We've got three different types of pandas here. And they all seem to behave differently, which is so cute. We've got the sick one here. This one sneezes a lot. And then in the boats, we've got the normal one. Can we get you out? Yes. Wait. No! Okay, they got on the boat together. Okay, I guess they're too busy kissing or something, but it seems to be... Oh! No! No, no, no. Did not mean that. What if I get it from the bottom? Oh, I think I can do this. Yes! Okay, I didn't kill anybody. And we'll seal it up. Oh, look at the playful one! Oh, I think you're my favourite. You're so cute. Okay, I'm gonna breed these two to make one more. And then we'll name them and then we'll be done. Oh, cute! Okay, let's get name tags. The four pandas are gonna be named after four people that guessed we're building a zoo. Okay, we have Janie. We've got Leonie. Fizzy. And someone. A very mysterious name. I love Fizzy for a baby. I wish I could stay babies. They'd be so cute. And so I believe that is the panda enclosure done. We've got pandas and ocelots. But I want to move on to the building I've got planned behind me. So the idea will be when you come into the zoo, you're in this courtyard and then you can go up this path. And then you can either keep going up to more enclosures or come through here. And this will be a doorway to walk through building and it'll come out here. And inside the building, there'll be frogs. So I'm going to go grab supplies for this. I think we have everything, except I really want to decorate with some of those light blue flowers from the swamp. So we'll make a quick trip and grab them. Okay, I think we have everything we'll want to start. So let's get rid of the ugly dirt and start pillaring. I want this building to be really tall, but with a short entrance. So we're going to go four high for the doorway. And we'll do steep roofs like this. Then for the pillars back here, these are going to be taller. I think we'll go with eight tall. Five, six, seven, eight. Next, we're going to strip all the logs and we'll do the frame of the main section of the roof. And now we've got the basic framework in, let's time lapse the rest. And here's our froggy greenhouse building. Also, I started making a path, but we've still got a bit of work to do out here. And the inside isn't done, and we need to label it. Oh, we don't even have a door. Hold on. There. And we'll try a little sign with glow ink. This is the frogs in the mangrove. And then if we come inside, this is what we're working with. It's actually pretty small. I thought for the zoo visitors, we could make some kind of path going through here. And then we'll make it so everything else kind of looks like a mangrove swamp. We might just need a little bit more mud. Luckily there's a swamp just over here. Ah, there it is. And the mangrove swamp is right next to it. Mud! Oh, listen to that. What a good sound. Now we can add the mud and the water and other decorations. frogs are gonna like it. So we've got the little path through here and then everything else is mangrovey. Oh also because frogs like jumping I made little platforms for them so they can jump around. I'm hoping they use them that'll be cute. Oh I also tried to grow a mangrove tree outside but it's absolutely huge. Like look at how big this is. Why is it the biggest mangrove I've ever seen? Maybe we can trim it. I kind of want these big blobs to go. She just needs a little haircut. That's all. 
Um, well that looks better. I'm still not sure if the tree is too big. I think I'll just leave it for a while and see how we feel about it. And in the meantime, our frog house needs frogs. We used to have so many frogs around here and I don't know where any of them are now. Cannot see a single frog. Just a villager in a pond. Yeah, there's no frogs left, we're gonna have to go get more. Let's go find them at the mangrove. Oh, we're here. Please say there's frogs somewhere. I see something white. Wait, is that one through there? Hello? Wait, did I just see stone? Uh, fossil arm. Wait, I think I heard one. Hello? Oh, hello? Sir, you're coming with me. And so we rode the frog home. Then I realized we want more white ones, so we went looking again. And I found a couple more. They're pretty far away, but we're getting them too. Ah, oh, okay, finally. I got a bit lost there. Let's get you to inside. And we've got one more to get. This one. And now if we go get our slimes, we can breed them. And I believe they'll make orange frog babies. Don't you need a water source? Here you go. Oh, yes. And now we wait. Ah, oh, look at this. We've got two orange frogs. Oh, they're so cute hopping around. They actually seem to love it here. It's adorable. Of course, we're still missing the problem child and that is the green frog. And it's the problem child because I've never seen one in the sea before. Unfortunately, I'm pretty sure we're thousands of blocks from any biome that could have a green frog. But I'm going to try to go to one place and see if we can get one. So we go through the nether, we come out at spawn, and then we travel through the ocean until we get to this river. Finally, we row down the river until we hit the grove. I looked everywhere and I found bunnies, but no frogs. Okay, after looking all around here, I'm not even sure that frogs can spawn here. And I remembered that I could have just brought a tadpole to grow up here. This is taking longer than I want it to. I guess we're going home to get a tadpole. One eternity later. Okay, now we should be able to just dig a hole, put a torch down, put the tadpole in. And then we wait. I'm going to make a dirt hut. Ah, oh, look what we have. You're so cute. Oh, when the squad hops into town. Okay, let's get out of here. We go down the hill, then in the boat, then in the nether. We made it! Froggy friend is home and safe. We got the full collection. Only the best for our zoo. Oh, let's update our map with everything we did today. So I think we were mostly working with this middle bit. And maybe a little bit here. Oh yes, you can see the two enclosures and the path work we did. Good progress, but I think that'll be all for today. Thank you so much for watching and please leave a like and subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!